everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hyperdrive in Devlog. Today I want to talk a little bit about the lessons that I have learned during my time as an independent game developer. So let's get to it. I've been working with games for roughly 10 years and Hyperdrive in is my fourth commercial game project. I'm by no means an expert but I have learned a thing or two while making these projects so hopefully someone will find this useful. I think the biggest lesson has been the importance of marketing, especially marketing beforehand. In hindsight, this is a bit of a no-brainer, as nobody is going to buy your game if they don't know it exists. For my previous games, I've pretty much made the thing and then told everyone about it. Besides the very first title I was involved in, Lydia, this approach hasn't been especially fruitful. I don't like to present stuff that's still in the works, but I have been pleasantly surprised with the reception of Hyperdrive Inn although the game is still in very, very much work in progress. So, thanks to everyone who has tagged along for this ride. I've also had very good suggestions for the game from the people who have taken interest in the project, so I would definitely recommend for everyone to announce your project as quickly as possible. It helps to get visibility, but also feedback. The second major thing I've learned along the way has to do with platforms. I would definitely recommend that the first version of a game should be for PC. Updating and fixing bugs is so much easier and especially faster this way. I understand and appreciate the thorough quality assurance processes of console manufacturers, but this makes bug fixing a pretty laborious and slow. Especially if you happen to come across fatal bugs. And this links to my third point. Test your game. Every game ships with bugs, it's just something that can't be avoided but you still shouldn't consider your audience to beta test the game for you. The launch versions of my previous games have had their fair share of bugs, which has resulted in very, very laborious patching operations, which could have been avoided with proper testing. This is something that I definitely want to avoid with Hyperdrive in. This week I've been working on this call center level that you've seen throughout this video. And I'm not gonna lie, it has been somewhat of an uphill battle. Thankfully, this level turned out pretty great at the end. In this level, the player gets trapped inside a massive call center within the hotel. These people are working away their debts while robot overlords are keeping tabs. The workers have an escape plan, but they can't execute it while tied to their desks. So, it all falls on the player. I've also plowed through some smaller content bits, which I'm not going to show you, because they would spoil the core elements of the story. I'm almost done with them, which means that I'm roughly 20% done with the game. That's all for today. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing for this channel. It would mean a lot. And Hyperdrive In is already on Steam, so you can go ahead and wishlist the game right now. All the relevant links can be found in the description. And I'll see you again next week, but until then, bye bye!